Hello everyone. In this presentation, I will discuss about uh, module 5 topics that is uh, optical switching uh, network and also optical network deployment. Optical switching network uh, under that uh, already I have discussed about uh, one or three topics. Apart from that, two more topics which are uh, remaining that is multi protocol label switching and uh, optical bus uh, switching networks. So, uh, before going into the these topics, I will just uh, brief you about uh, in the previous class what is uh, happened uh, under optical uh, switching uh, network we discussed uh, the optical circuit switch network and also we discussed about uh, optical packet switch network i'll just briefly i'll go through with this uh, before uh, i'm taking up optical circuit switch or optical packet switch i'll just uh, say optical uh, switching network uh, it is just switch the data between different port of a network where switching in the sense it can might be the switching of a network in the sense it might be in the electrical form electronics form or in the optical form also but uh, here this is we what we discussed about optical uh, network hence uh, it should be in terms of we are considering only in terms of optical switching network so under optical switching network we have one type is optical circuit switched and the other type is optical packet switched so circuit switch if i take it uh, uh, it should be in a fabric uh, condition or uh, it can also provide optical uh, cross connector uh, sequences uh, both circuit or packet uh, used in a high capacity network uh, from longer network larger network we are going to use it uh, this particular diagram which uh, goes when with respect to the optical circuit switched network uh, this is actually available uh, network source which is a connection made until uh, the message is transferred so the available network which is uh, for the source connection mode with respect to the message need to be transferred from one node to the another node or one point to the another point so this is one example where uh, how the uh, circuit switched uh, going to be happen network going to be happen so we considered here six nodes uh, with the path establishing uh, six nodes in the a b c d e f and uh, the path is we are establishing from lambda 1 is passing from at a to f it is need to come out and the shorted past we can take it as a b d f these are the nodes where across that the lambda 1 signal is passing so in that in between the major connection nodes are going to be b and d and uh, this b and d connection can be existed either with the help of optical cross connector or optical switches can be used for this so optical switches here it is 2 cross 2 or even here it is 2 cross 2 so this particular optical circuit switch network which is generally used in a public telecommunication network so apart from that another uh, type of what we discussed in the previous class uh, or previous session is uh, optical packet switched network this is again under comes under optical switching network so this optical packet switched network uh, it is normally uh, to perform uh, the four set of functions with respect to the packet switched network uh, with one is routing other one is forwarding and switching and also buffering can be done but here the information is always passed in the form of packets so the packet format which is shown here it consisting header or uh, label uh, and payload that is data which is existing under payload and the guard band which is nothing but to be say the guard band to be defined one particular uh, the range or that uh, optical network can be defined uh, with respect to the guard band uh, but payload is always defined with respect to the data the header and uh, label uh, which can be where the packet should be forwarded uh, either uh, in terms of uh, as per the lookup table where it should go uh, at the at what point where it pointed uh, those are the information which will be there in the header or label file so based on that it is going to be moved into the one node to the other node based on the label it will move then data is carried behind to that and the guard band it is for the help or for the suppress or to stir or to protect these information with the help of guard band 
so this also we can also name it as this process also we can name it as label switching the routing so the based on the label uh, it is going to be transfer the information from one point to the other point that's why it can also be called as label switching routing also so this is what uh, we discussed in the previous uh, session where uh, one two major types uh, optical uh, circuit and packet switch network and uh, um my focus is on to mpls that is a multi protocol label switching um so multiple different protocols are going to be used uh, for the switching formations that's what uh, we are considering majorly it is provides an efficient designation routing forwarding or switching of the traffic flows uh, um, through an ops network that, that is an optical uh, packet switching network which is considered it uses uh, the label to forward the traffic across the various uh, multi protocol label switching domains uh, when the labeled packet arrive at the label switching uh, router label switching router can also be called as lsr so when the labeled packet which is arrive at the router the incoming label will determine the path of this packet within the mpls network so mpls is a form of network which is a very a one more type as similarly considered as circuit or packet this is one for other formation of a, a network as mpls the mpls label forwarding based on the label only we are forwarding the information from one point to the other point forwarding will then swap this label to the appropriate ongoing label um, send the packet on the next network hop so one point network hop to the other network hop packets is going to be labeled and it is passed these labels are assigned to packets based on the grouping and forwarding equivalences classes we can group it together where it need to be passed where it need to be forwarded or where it need to be given so all these going to be assigned with the help of based on the labels so packet belonging to the same forwarding equivalence class receives the same treatment okay where it need to go it will need to go to to that particular point so that's how the packet is going to be allocated based on the labeling so here packets are switched based on the label information only so one label is says it need to move to y so the other label says it need to move to x so they can exchange each other their packets so these going to be happen with the help of some switching so any optical switching can be used or something cross connectors also can be used along with the multi protocol label switching so this is uh, basically this uh, having certain functions or implementations before implementing this uh, mpls uh, the lsrs that is what uh, we earlier consider uh, the laser uh, router uh, one of the router receives their packet from one interface and uh, replace the incoming label in the mpls header by an outgoing label so and forward the packet out of the another interface so they are exchanged labels also need to be exchanged and forward each other so normally this is having certain functionality or the implementation uh, conditions so those are uh, represented over here so one type of trap based on the traffic majorly which is uh, uh, represented as the uh, mpls uh, function or implementations uh, so one is the tdm or sonnet which is considered it is mainly based on the implementation based on the time slot wise so time slot wise one slot time is given so in that time the um, all switching can be happened from one point to the other point uh, the implementation can normally it is a cross connect uh, system can be used uh, along with the digital or any other particular uh, ADM also or ADM also. So the next particular formation or functions is based on the internet protocol or also we can take it as a synchronous transfer mode. Uh, switch operations, implementation of a label as a header which is considered, label as a header which is considered in this particular case also. So that label takes the packets and it is moved away and uh, to the one point and uh, to the other point. So the, the last case is going to be defined as WDM or wavelength dependent uh, uh, any uh, digital multiplexing which is considered. This is a transparent type of this optical uh, used in an optical domain or its implementation scheme based on the DWDM switch 
network can be implemented based on the wave, wavelength that is in terms of lambda which is considered here so these are the basic some functionalities are going to be used with respect to the um, mpls so this mpls that is a multi protocol label switching one popular service provided by the mpls based on the network is ip virtual private network so internet protocol virtual private networks ip vpns uh, deployed over the sonnet or sdh this generalized uh, and also we can have some generalized mpls uh, which can be extends mpls providing uh, some additional protocol for uh, wavelength or physical space domain it can be used so apart from this we can have one more type uh, of uh, switching the network that is a uh, optical burst switching network so this optical burst switching network uh, as we considered earlier as uh, the circuit switching or packet switching the combination of this together will give the burst switching so combining important aspects of the optical circuit switching and optical packet switching results in the optical burst switching so optical burst which will be operated at the sub wavelength level uh, in that it therefore uh, provides a, for a rapid setup or tear down of optical network light paths so uh, bs that is optical burst switching which is work based on the sub wavelength level where there will be a rapid setup and also tear down of optical network light paths this hybrid this is an a hybrid switching and the routing technology is utilized uh, with the help of electronics to control routing uh, decisions. Uh, over here, the packet with the common destination are aggregated uh, in the edge routing nodes uh, into the larger transmission units called uh, uh, burst or uh, data burst. That is what uh, we can uh, also note it uh, as a data burst. Uh, each packet is uh, transmitted separately from uh, data control packet called the burst header cell so we can note it as a bhc the packet transmitted separately from the data control packet to the burst header cell bhc uh, and also keep remember these uh, the data burst uh, while uh, mentioning uh, this is very important so we will keep remember this bhc and also we will keep remember the, the data bus what it is uh, the packet of the common destination aggregated wedge edge routing nodes into the larger transmission units called burst or data burst so this we can visible with rest to the diagram where the data burst or BHC with respect to the control channel which can be existed so it can comes from the edge router or into the nodes or into the transmission to the receiving units so this is our the basic setup to define about optical burst switching so optical burst switching I can explain it with respect to this particular block diagram where it consisting of uh, something edge router units uh, maybe one or two many units we can consider edge router which is uh, the direct the packets from one line to the another line it can be controlled so obs edge router on receiving the bhc assign bhc nothing but burst header cell uh, assigns the incoming burst to an available channel on the outgoing link leading towards the desired destination and establishes a path between the specified channel on the access link and channel selected to carry the burst so there will be a control channel control channel will select the which kind of burst need to be passed that is always dependent on how edge router will direct it into the different link or a different path so that is established always the path is going to be established by the edge router so transmitter to receiver how it need to pass so the edge router it might edge it, uh, the route it he over here it is passed over here it passed over here it can reach here also but that is no long distance which can take so shortest path also it can be identified based on the traffic over this region also identified if there is already the information is passing from one to three means traffic is more so from the transmitter to receiver i cannot take from one to three path so it is difficult because traffic is more between one and three so i just need to identify some alternate route 
that is normally going to be done if traffic is heavy then it uh, uh, edge router to route or uh, direct uh, into the different path and it need to be passed so uh, that is always is uh, dependent on this traffic of uh, any particular channel dependent on the data burst or burst header cell which will able to decide how much amount of data we are passing over here in the channel or with respect to the uh, from one point to the another point so we can also uh, this also we can understand the edge router operation through the help of edge router operation we can also understand how the burst assembly which is going to be done at the user side or to the core router side so by passing from user to router or router to user so under these two cases we can try to understand it uh, how the uh, edge router going to operate so uh, coming to the same point with respect to the optical burst switching network uh, under that uh, edge router how it is going to be operated we can explain with respect to this particular diagram so over here if i take uh, it can be existed with respect to the um, different uh, from the user side i can also say we can either you can use different protocol like internet protocol or uh, the sonnet or sdh or any other format we can consider so it can take any kind of protocols or any data can be taken and it can be passed from user from the transmitter side uh, it can be edge router will route it to the router or uh, to the receiver side through the help of some router there should be existence of burst header cell and also something like a burst is also required to carry by the burst 1 and burst 2 that is defined but here we have something bcc that is data control channel where it will control the flow of the data so either a burst header cell first it will move and it will check whether the data is a uh, uh, flowing or easy or whatever the traffic is uh, assigning or everything it can be understand it and next burst will be passed information will be passed either one by one all these factors are dependent on which type of input is coming from a or s it is dependent on this we are decided how edge router need to be decided how it need to go to the receiver side so this is from user to core uh, router so we can also call it as uh, ingress and uh, egress this is uh, egress in the sense it is uh, towards to the user if there is no much amount of information then it is egress side and to the ingress ingress side means it is a core router side that is how we, uh, we can take the term of ingress and egress with respect to edge router operation so diagram b which is the reverse operation whatever done over here so here the passing information from core router side to the uh, user side so receiver or whatever i can consider earlier it becomes a transmitter and whatever transmitter it becomes acting now receiver so to the user side so how it need to be again edge need to be router but uh, the burst value will be changed burst name is changed must one burst two changed into burst three and burst four this is what the changes which is uh, happened from over to uh, the first diagram to the second diagram for, because we have to use different burst or burst header cell also that should be different but edge router always uh, edge or uh, it will try to route the information to the user side or uh, the egress side with the help of routing into the channel uh, which how for which kind of uh, section which need to be passed either in the protocol or sonnet or sdh or any other format how it need to be passed the information or group wise how what a what a, what the packet how much it should be contained information so these are all the packets whatever p3 p4 or whatever p1 p2 whatever earlier considered so all these are the set of packets how it need to be passed so it is taken in the form of burst and it is passed one by one set of information uh, and it need to be uh, shared between transmitter and receiver side this is how the edge router passing the information with respect to the burst switch and uh, the coming to the next uh, diagram it is uh, optical network deployment uh, which can be happened even uh, with respect to the different uh, 
uh, form A. So optical network uh, with the uh, particular diagram A, this is a modern diagram of a complex dense WDM, whatever uh, DWDM backbone network with some of the different uh, channel like uh, add drop uh, channel also used in uh, a man or LAN or access networks or enterprise network where it need to be considered. So second diagram it is indicating the point to point WDM for long haul distance communication. All these we will discuss later long haul uh, communications but uh, I'll just explain about this optical uh, network deployment. This is uh, just happened. Deployment is happened uh, from uh, uh, transmitting uh, information from uh, uh, either from the transmitter to receiver side when the transmitter uh, all the input channels are uh, multiplexed and passed into one optical uh, um, through optical fiber and it need to be passed either my amplifier can be used uh, or for each and every for long haul communication but uh, here might be some of the in channels can be added or dropped or passed into the core ring uh, or into the one particular city from the long distance it is information coming into the one city where core ring is there nothing but it is uh, distributing the information to the one large enterprise network for uh, the a college or uh, the any industry purpose enterprise network it is passed information these information whatever coming and demultiplication and i can pass it or any for small area network that is a lan where i can pass the information or this core ring network is also passed the same information into the man metropolitan uh, uh, area network where it can be passed or some access network each and every home or through satellite communication this information is shared so through entire one city can get the information from uh, the with the help of the long distance communication and it can be passed and demultiplexed and it can reach back it to the same user so this is the overall network structure which we can represent it so it can basically which is consisting of all these man van or uh, lan something access network or enterprise network all these terms are going to be uh, coming into the picture with respect to the optical network deployment so the the next coming classes where we'll uh, discuss about uh, all these network deployment whether uh, van or enterprise network or metropolitan network or access networks so how it is going to be deployed how it is going to be enabled to the users how it is get connected through the help of optical fiber or how it is accessed by one user to the other user. Uh, as per the exam point of view, whatever I just discussed till here, so we just need to go for optical bus switching that is going to be a very important uh, concept in terms of optical bus switching. So you can keep remember with respect to the block diagram along with the points whatever I just indicated in this particular presentation. And thank you for listening. Uh, keep uh, note down all the important points. Uh, good luck.